Hello and welcome back to another Chris G review. I'm really excited about this review today. Oh, I'm forgetting something. There you go. You always see this in my video. This is my little uh, my little car from Japan. Uh, <laughs> Initial D. If you ever seen Initial D, it's a Japanese manga about uh, drifters in Tokyo mountains. That's where this car comes from. But I like to keep it right there in my videos. Reminds me of Japan. Today we're going to take a look at something that's not Japanese, but actually Chinese, and that is the Hero fountain pen produced right in China. Um, yeah, so the Hero brand is a, a brand of Chinese fountain pens, they, or a Chinese brand that makes fountain pens, and uh, one thing that I think the Hero brand is known for is their specialty pen, which is called the Fude Nib Pen. If you didn't see the review that I did of the Japanese-made Sailor Fude Nib Pens, you can see that right there. I'll make sure I link that for you to take a look at. But this is, uh, I think, my favorite Fude Nib Pen that I have so far. And I have three. I have two Sailors and this Hero. And I think the Hero is beating the sailors by far from build quality to the way that it writes to the build of the nib i think it's got to be so first of all let's look at the uh, the build of this pen it's a metal pen all metal pen which is one thing i really enjoy about it it's a cheap well it's low price it's not cheaply made but the price is very uh, affordable it's about, um, I think, $10 US. $10 US. You can't beat that. This pen is uh, very solid. It's got a nice weight to it, and it feels good in the hand. One thing I really like about this pen is the black and gold design. It just looks very uh, businessy. <laughs> I know businessy ain't a word, but it's very professional looking. And... Uh, I like that about this pen, from the gold cap on the uh, the bottom of the pen to the gold on the top. The clip is very nice, and it seems like it has a spring. I think it's just the build design right here uh, makes it nice and springy. Uh, it's not going to rip your pocket off if you put it in your pocket and you clip it onto your front pocket. It's not going to pull your pocket off. It's not that strong, but I think it's strong enough to hold on. Right here around the bottom of the cap, you can see the Hero uh, brand logo, which is very nice, very Chinese-esque. Of course, you got the Chinese characters, the flower, and then these uh, branches across the bottom with the word Hero. Look at that gold just shining in the light. Uh, then across the back, this is the Hero 9018. So that's the build name on the back of the pen. Uh, right here, you can see there is another logo on the top of the clip. Makes it really nice. And on the top of the top, the top of the cap, <laughs> it's all black and it's a shiny uh, finish. So that's the outside of the pen. Let's get into the inside. One thing I like about this pen is the cap. So if you listen, it's a nice, firm, fitting cap. The cap clicks on, and even when you pull it off, you get a nice sound when you open and close this pen. So I like that about this cap. Put the cap down over there. Uh, so on the inside of the pen, you get a nice grip section right here which it is a uh, texture. It's a texture grip section, and it's a pretty wide uh, grip section compared to other pens, which makes it nice and, and, and uh, it feels good to hold in the hand. It's not a very long pen, but it's long enough to uh, fit nicely into my hand when I'm using it, and I don't have to put the cap on the back. If I do decide to put the cap on the back, it still fits well in my hand. I have a larger size hand, so, but it still fits good. When you put the cap on the back, it does kind of move the weight 
back on the pin because the cap is kind of heavy. So you would have to fill that out, but it does put more weight on the back of the pin and you can definitely feel it. Uh, if you look right here, there's a gold band going around the, you know, right before the, the grip section of the pin. So it kind of keeps that black and gold design going down the pin. Uh, I like the texture on the grip because it, it keeps your fingers from sliding around, but it's not enough texture to be like a nuisance. So that's one good thing about that. Uh, the nib is one thing. When I first got this pin, if you want to see the unboxing of this pin, I'll link it right here. And you can check that out. It's a mail time video because I ordered this off the internet. So I, I wasn't, I didn't know what I was, uh, to expect when I ordered this pin. I had just seen it before and I didn't know the build quality was going to be this good on this pin because of the price. The price was so low. Um, if you can see right there on the nib, try to center it up. There is uh, a logo, the flower logo that's you can find right here on the cap. That same flower right there is on the nib of the pen along with the word hero across the bottom then there's also a uh, you know engraved design that goes around the nib of the pen very very nice and this is a I want to say a gold plated nib obviously it's gold <laughs> obviously this is a gold nib on the pen but I don't think it's a, a you know a high carat a, a large amount of gold, but it's enough to make it look nice. I know that much. Uh, of course, the feed is plastic. It's just a regular, regular feed. Uh, under the bottom of the pen, you can see where the ink flows out. And the difference between this pen and why I like this pen so much more than the Sailor is because the nib moves out away from the feed and then bends up. If you didn't see... Uh, the review of the Sailor Pen, I, I linked it already in the video, but I'll put it down below as well. And I'll show you right here. So, and on top of that, this nib is plastic. Or it's not, it's not heavy metal like this nib. This is a real metal nib pen. Oh, this isn't a good one to show you. Where's the blue one? Yeah, it's the blue one that's the, the problem with the Sailor Fountain Pen which this has the smaller uh, degree of bend in the nib. But if you take a look at these two nibs, the nib on this one, right at the end of the feed, bends up. And as you can see in my review uh, of this pen, when you try to make the thicker lines with this nib, it creates an extra small line from the feed rubbing against the paper because they're so close together. So it's like a, a build design that's, they didn't really think about that too much. On this hero pen, because there's this extra space and then the bend of the nib, it creates a more, uh, it feels a lot better to work with. The nib moves across paper very easily and you don't have to worry about making unwanted marks like you did, uh, like you, you might have to think about with the hero pen. I mean, with the uh, Sailor, Fude nib pen. So let's open it up. The good thing about these pens is that they do come with an ink converter. And I've almost used up all the ink because I've been using this so much. This is the ink converter. As you can see, it says Hero with the logo across the top. It's very nice. Uh, and I really like this design on the twist section which I think is just the screw that plunges the plunger in, but it just looks nice. Um, it holds a, a, a decent amount of ink, but when you're using the Fude nib, because you can make line variations, it will use the ink faster than uh, other pens. So, Also, the nib and feed come out easily. All you have to do is pinch and pull, and they come out. I'm not gonna do that because there is ink in the pen. Now let's take a look at how this pen writes. Okay, so excuse this part of the paper. 
if you uh, this is the sailor pin and I'm gonna do this next to each other so you can kind of see the difference between the two so this is the hero hero food day nib fountain pen uh, so what you can do with this pen of course you can get thin lines the more vertical you hold the pen the thinner your lines will be And the more horizontal you hold your pen, so the more horizontal like this you hold your pen, then you'll get thicker lines. Okay, so basically if you write, you can move from thin lines to thick lines by varying the way that you're holding your pen. Uh, again, this is from the Sailor fountain pen, and this is that unwanted line that you get from the feed touching the paper, but you do not get that with this pen because the feed does not, uh, it's not close enough to the paper to uh, actually cause any issues. Now I'm going to show you uh, some drawings that I've done with this pen just so you can kind of see uh, the line variations. Okay, this is the Caldi sketchbook. And this is a very rough paper. This is a 100% uh, cotton paper. The, uh, you get a dry effect with the pens. So as you can see right here, one thing I like about this pen, especially when you're using it with rough paper, because it's not smooth, the way the ink flows out of the pen varies. So you can get uh, thicker areas of ink, like in this section, you get thick areas of ink, and then as you move the pen across the paper, it might thin out like that. And uh, you get like a nice dry effect. One thing I like about well, one thing that draws me to different materials is the way that you can get different variations when you use it. So with this pen, especially with this paper, you get a lot of different variations in the line, and it's kind of unpredictable. And I like the unpredictability of using um, this pen, especially with this paper. You get a, a nice effect to your lines. One thing that I like about this pen is that when you're using it, Sometimes, especially like I said, with this more uh, uh, a higher tooth on the paper, sometimes the ink will be drier than times, and then it'll speed up, and the ink flow will be a little thicker. And I think that just adds to uh, the drawing. But some people might not like that. Some people might want consistency and uh, something that's just reliable, and it's always going to give you the same line maybe not this pen maybe not this pen because it's going to change the uh, amount of ink that comes out is going to change if you want to see this sketch i'll link it right here i actually uh recorded this sketch and put it on here so you can take a look at this sketch actually being done with this pen and you can kind of see the lines go down on the paper i also use the pencil pocket brush pen with this so it's not all just the food aid nib pen and also this painting, I'll link it right here at the top as well if you would like to take a look at this. Uh, I did this pen with, I mean, I did this painting with the Food A Nib pen and also the pocket brush pen as well. I'm going to wrap up this review on the Sailor uh, Food A Nib, the 9018 pen. It's one of my favorite pens if not my favorite pen right now to uh, sketch with. Uh, it's not really my favorite as far as writing, but with sketching, I really enjoy using this pen just because of the, uh, the unpredictability of the lines that you might get out of this pen and the build quality of this pen.
feels very good and it's very nice. I like it. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more reviews, which like I said, there's going to be reviews coming as very often. And also uh, tutorials. I'm going to try to start making more tutorials to go with the channel as well. If you're interested in those type of things, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll stay tuned to all of the new videos that are coming out on this channel and share the video around with anyone who you think might enjoy it or get something from it. I'm going to stop talking and I'll talk to you later. Peace.